Hi everyone, this is Lily and I'm going to do a review of the morning skincare routine and the makeup skincare routine that was recommended by the Case Full of Soul Best of Korean Skincare Kit that I recently purchased from Costco. So let's go ahead and get started. So to explain what the two routines are, um, the kit that I ordered from Costco came with this book that gave you four different skincare routine recommendations based on the products that came in the kit. So the routines that I'm going to talk about are one called the morning glory, which is an everyday skincare routine to brighten up your day. And then the other one is called get ready with me. Skincare is the new makeup. So the two routines are pretty similar but one is recommended for when you're about to put on makeup. So I'm going to go through the products that they recommended and let you guys know what I thought about each one. So the first one is the Rice Foaming Cleanser. So since I used this as part of the nighttime routine already, and I did enjoy it um, if you saw in my other video, but I don't think that I need to necessarily use this in the daytime routine if I've already used it at night. Um, I feel like it would dry out my face too much if I did uh, double face washing. Um, so with that said, if I felt like especially sweaty in the morning or anything like that, I would consider using it. But for now, I've actually skipped this step and I've just kind of washed my face with cold water like I usually do. Um, instead of doubling up on this. So that's good so I don't have to waste this because I really do like it. Um, the next step in the process is the toner. This I actually have been using a lot, which I think is great because they included two bottles of it, so I'm really happy about that. Um, in the beginning, when I first tried it out as part of the nighttime routine, I had just put it on a cotton ball and rubbed it into my face, and that was it. But now I've kind of found a better way to get more use out of it. What I've been doing instead is I've been taking these cotton pads that I already had. I purchased these a long time ago at a Korean beauty store. So they're just plain, dry, thin little sheets that you can kind of do your own um, treatment with. So I've been putting a few drops of the toner on the pad and then placing it under each eye. And then just letting that sit in, soak into my face for like five or ten minutes, however long I feel like I need it or however much time I have. Um, and then I just peel them off really easily and then just rub that with the toner into the rest of my face. And it feels so relaxing and um, it really balances out my skin. So I'm happy about the toner. The next step is the rose essence repair um, this I've just been using like a very small drop and patting it into my face and it feels nice and refreshing it doesn't really add too much time to the routine so that's fine um, and then the next step is the serum which I just spray directly on my face and then pat that in as well um, the next step is the moisturizer this is the one that came in the kit and if you saw my last video, I did say that it felt a little bit heavy. So I actually haven't used it as part of the morning routine yet, only because I'm afraid of layering on this plus any makeup that I might be wearing after that. Um, I am going to give it a shot, though, because I do think it's a good quality product, and I just plan not to use too much at a time, and I think that'll help because last time it just felt too heavy. Um, another thing that I might do is something similar to what I did with these pads. I might just, if I feel like this is too heavy, I might try to absorb it with a plain cotton mask. So I also have a pack of these as well. These are just DIY uh, facial masks that I got at a Korean beauty store. But I might just absorb it with this so that it doesn't feel so heavy. Um, so that was the next step. The step after that is to apply the sun cream, which is SPF 50. 
And to be honest with you, I haven't tried this out yet either as part of the daytime routine. Not only because I haven't really been going outside much when I've been doing this routine, but also because the products that I've been using as makeup already have a built-in sunscreen. So I didn't want to double up on too much sunscreen because I feel like it would clog my pores. Um, but I do like to use a sunscreen every day uh, when I go outside. Whether or not I'm wearing makeup, I usually have one on. So I do plan to incorporate this as part of the routine. And if you guys want to know um, how it is after I try it, let me know and I'll keep you posted on that. And that's the morning uh, regular daytime routine. The next product is part of the makeup routine. So this is really the only thing that changes those two. That's the only difference. Um, this is the primer. So I did try the primer and I used it before I applied a BB cream as my makeup and it actually went really nicely with that. Um, it felt smooth, I didn't have to use too much and it didn't feel like it was heavy or clogging my skin or anything like that. So I do plan to use this again if I'm gonna be using a BB cream where I don't have to apply the additional sunscreen because um, sometimes it just takes too much time to do all of those steps, but if I already have the sunscreen on, then I'll feel comfortable not putting the extra sunscreen and just using the primer instead. Um, if I had a choice with the primer and the sunscreen, I would usually choose the sunscreen because that in itself kind of acts like its own primer. Um, so I don't feel like I have to use both, even though they recommend it. I would use one or the other, and then I would feel better about not putting so much stuff on my face. But that's totally up to you, um, whatever you want to do with a primer or a sunscreen. Um, so that's my review of those two routines. Let me know what you guys think, or if you have any recommendations, or if you've tried any of these products. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.